Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play, The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. We're on Act 5 here. Insanity, please. That sounds lovely. Right, so for this, the prescription pad is missing. The uh, Dr. Decker's prescription pad is missing. And it's got the death threads on it, according to Nathan. So, I'm going to go through the list and see who could have taken it. One of them probably did. Okay, let's kick off with the person who I have the most suspicion for that's not Jaya. So that'd be probably Bryce. Hello, Bryce. I'm not feeling very well. I tried to sleep through the midnight hour, and I slept for eight hours. When I woke up, it was looking at me. That, that thing was looking at me. Time was still frozen. I can't escape it. I'm doomed. Uh, don't care about that at this point, mate. But what about the prescription pad? I didn't steal Decker's pad. I didn't have to. If I wanted to use it, I could just teleport in here and steal a sheet. Why take the whole pad? Why be that obvious? True. Okay, what about the death threats on the pad then? Because I'm, I'm pointing this squarely at you at the moment, Bryce. Well, kudos to whoever had the guts to do that. It wasn't me. What did they say? You've piqued my interest now. Hmm. Anyway, why do you think you're doomed? It knows what I did with Dr. Decker. It's been taunting me. Uh, what did you do with Decker? Did you kill him? It wanted me to follow it, so I did. It brought me here, Doctor. Here. It thinks I killed Dr. Decker. I'm sure of it. Did you kill... Dr. Decker? I took his body. It was me. I took it from the coffin because I didn't want him put in the ground. I don't know what I was going to do with him. I just I just didn't think burial would be enough. Maybe I would cremate him. But the body disappeared. How can a body disappear? I know you want to be buried. But it's never the end, is it? I have a private tool shed at the graveyard. I moved his body in there before the burial. But when I came back, he'd gone. It was locked, and he'd gone. How did that happen, Doctor? How did Decker do that? Well, he didn't. Someone else moved... Decker? I don't know why you're asking. Someone else moved Decker's body. If someone else moved Decker, they'd had to have picked the lock, moved the body, and then locked up again. Why go to the trouble of locking up again? True. True. Anyway, are you still stealing things? I teleported back into the art gallery after our session in the midnight hour. I replaced the painting, so... I haven't stolen anything for a long time now. Well, that's a good thing, at least. Perhaps a cheeky borrow best describes it. <laughs> God's sakes. Ah, all right. Uh, yeah, what's been happening in the midnight hour? I've tried to avoid my extra hour. I tried to sleep through it. I did try one thing. I spied on you, Doctor. You have a strangeness, don't you? I really don't like you at this point, Bryce. How's Jessica? Let's talk about that. I waved back at Jessica yesterday. And she smiled. It was bigger than normal. I think we may have made a connection, Doctor. The photos I have of her. I think I'm going to destroy them. They're my problem, not hers. Yes, destroy them, Bryce. Anyway, what strangers do I have? You live in the same house as Dr. Decker. I spied on him several times, so I know the house very well. You kept it almost entirely the same. Why did you live in the same house as Dr. Decker? Is it a perk? Or you, Dr. Decker? No! I'm not Decker, you... Dom. 
Bess. I thought it might be a perk. I'm sorry I spied on you. I was just getting worried that you weren't who you said you were. Just some mannerisms. Strangeness. It's good you've adopted his dog, though. I'm not sure many people would have done. Wait, we adopted his dog? <laughs> I didn't believe really know that. Anyway, uh, maybe Decker teleported? It's not out of the question to think that Dr. Decker teleported himself out of the tool shed. If I can do it, he probably can. That's the kind of thing I've been thinking. But the thing that's been following me, it can teleport too. I think the thing might be Decker. Is the thing Decker? Uh, no. Probably not. No, the thing is not Decker. And so it is. You worried me then, Doctor. I thought you were starting to believe in the unbelievable too. No, no chance, Bryce. Right, let's move on. So, Bryce... Okay, so, apparently he didn't do the death threats, he didn't take the pad. Claire! Death threats. I've already told you, I never saw his prescription pad, so of course I didn't write any death threats. It sounds like someone is trying to frame me. Who's trying to frame me, Doctor? It could be Bryce, I guess. No, Doctor. No, apparently not. What? What was that? Hang on, what was that? Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, I thought the scene something. <laughs> Do you know anything about the pad? I never saw Dr. Decker's prescription pad. I imagine he kept it hidden away. To stop people stealing it? Yeah, it could be. Could be. Anyway, <clears throat> anything else you could tell me about Dr. Decker? Oh, the continuing saga of Dr. Decker. After he'd seen David and done his due diligence, he came up with an offer I couldn't refuse. Remember? The one I told you about when we first met. Okay, what was the offer? Dr. Decker wanted me to reanimate him. He said he would kill David unless I agreed. Hmm. How are you supposed to reanimate him? He called me on Valentine's night. He promised to use a disposable phone so there would be no trace. I was supposed to come here, where I would find him dead, and then reanimate him. I agreed immediately. It seems that Dr. Decker went through with his half of the agreement. But I forgot to turn up. She's got a bleeding knife, I think! That's a knife! She's got a knife! I'm fine. Jesus. I killed David. Again. He went too far. For God's sakes, I told you not to! What the hell? How'd you kill David? Um... With an axe. I got him to put his head on the wood block. He didn't really know what he was doing. He trusted me. I cut off his head. When I picked it up, he was smiling. Probably a muscle spasm. <sighs> Oh, there we go. It doesn't matter because this second death never bleeding happens. She's just is starting to carve him up now. David is a monster. Anushka, she's hanging up. Oh, for God's sakes. Why is Anushka hanging up? David hunted her and hung her up like an animal. How? Just how? Doctor, I think I'm going to be sick. I can't talk about this. Let's talk about something else. Please. Like my diagnosis. Okay. Got another achievement, I guess. Practitioner. Uh, your diagnosis? There you go. You promised you'd diagnose me as temporarily insane. You can't go back on that now. 
I wouldn't call you temporarily insane. I'd call you completely insane on a nice note. Do you think Marianne is framing you? I don't really know the girl, but I did buy out her loan from Dr. Decker. I mainly did it to shut him up about it. But can you imagine having him as a creditor? That poor girl. I hope it didn't accrue anything more than interest. Hmm. So hang on a minute. So Claire now has the loan agreement. If Claire's got the loan agreement, Mariana doesn't have a motive to kill Dr. Decker. Huh. That's pretty interesting. What if I don't think you're insane? Doctor, did I tell you about that time that I used the power of my mind to bring my husband back to life? I can't imagine what I'd do to the psychiatrist that double-crossed me. But I'm sure it will be fun. For me, at least. Security! Please, security! El Elin. Oh, Elin. Uh, fine, we'll go with you now. Hi, Elin. I'm good. I feel better. Last session... That was all negative. I don't want to be like that. Oh, I made you something. A little thank you for being so nice. They're cookies. Cookies. The usual stuff. Flour, sugar, butter, chocolate chips. And my special ingredient. A little... Herbalist magic to give you some pep. You look like you need it. Cocaine! Probably, or some sort of drug. Uh, why are you feeling negative? I'm a happy person. And really, what's the point of being miserable? It doesn't matter what's going on at work or anything. Happy is the only goal. Max told me that. I think some footballer might have said it. Max? I told you about Max, right? Didn't I mention him before? Uh, yes, you did mention Max before. Wasn't he that hot date? Yes, but you don't know the whole story. Max is 77. Oh. He was one of my patients. I thought he was dying, so I shifted for him. Became an old sweetheart of his, apparently. Only Max didn't die. He actually got better somehow. And then he came and asked me to do it again. Did you shift again? That's weird. What do you mean? Sorry, no. I... Uh, I'll only use a hint for the, 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 the... Yeah, prescription pad script. What about the prescription pad? Okay, the death threats on it? Someone was sending Dr. Decker death threats. I had no idea. You never said anything to me about it. Hmm. Did you take the prescription pad? Yes, I took it. I had to. So we found out who stole it. Elin, come on! Why did you steal it? Dr. Decker told me he could use it to take away my gift. Hmm. Take away your gift? Why don't you check your notes? Uh, fine, we'll use a hint. Who's Max's sweetheart? I'm stuck. Oh, God. Okay, Jaya's right in the full now. Oh, g not Jaya. Elin's right in the full. Okay. Hang on a minute. So... If Decker said that he could use the prescription pad to take her, her her specialty away, you could say, you know, her skill away, if she had it, then there'd be no reason for her to kill him. But then, if she took it, she would know where she'd know the death threats on it. Hang on a minute. If you took the pad, you would 
have seen the death threat on it. No, that doesn't work apparently. Plot hole! Who's Max's sweetheart? Eleanor her name was, or is. Like I say, he doesn't even know where she is now. But she obviously still loves him. When I shifted, I felt all fluttery and excited. It's so sweet, isn't it? I guess. Did you become Eleanor for Max? Yes. Max and Eleanor had dinner on Valentine's Day. I felt a bit weird when he asked me. But he said he just wanted to have one more date with her and then he wouldn't ask me again. And to be fair, he was a perfect gentleman. I mean, I didn't want to have that conversation. Yeah, that certainly would have been incredibly weird. Um, why did you shift uh, again for Max? Thing is, because Max didn't die, he saw me change back after I let go of his hand. There wasn't anything I could do about it. That's fair enough. Okay, why did Max die? I don't know why Max didn't die. It usually works. Hmm. What do you mean by it usually works? I just mean when I shift. They see their loved one and say what they have to say, and then there's nothing stopping them from moving on. Why? What did you think I meant? Uh, don't know. Why would Dr. Tekka want to take away your gift? I suppose he was just trying to cure me. I mean, I thought he believed that I could shift, but maybe he didn't. Maybe he was just humouring me the whole time. Certainly could have. Did you kill Dr. Decker? I could never hurt anyone. You have to believe me, Doctor. Thank you for bringing me a present. You're very you. welcome. Thank you. Very, very nice of you, Elin. Thank you. <sighs> I really want to ask her about that de uh, the date with Max on Ice Note. See if she... No, no. She, she, she's got nothing else to say about that. Just see if she sticks to a story, if anything. Which it seems like she probably is. Okay... Oh, God. All right. Elin is probably... Did you come here on Valentine's Day? I don't know anything about that. I guess not. All right. Um, Elin, I think you're pretty clear at this point. Mariana's probably clear as well, because Claire now has the loan. Hmm. Jaya, Jaya, Jaya. You're next! Hi, Jaya. I'm worried about you, Doctor. And the fingerprints on the bottle? Sorry, I dropped it. They were yours. I think you know what I'm going to say. I don't know. So... Oh, God. Okay, so what's the news on Mariana? I've been reviewing your files. I know, I know, I'm sorry, a bit naughty. But have you considered that Mariana may have murdered Dr. Decker because of the money she owed him? She had most to gain. She got all the money if he died. And it makes most sense, doesn't it? Wrong! Because we now know that Claire's got it. Claire now has Mariana's loan. Are you stuck? Okay, never mind. Yeah, but that's not right. Okay, now she's... Is she trying to deflect the blame to Mariana? Why would she say no one to touch the bottle when she dropped it? Is it her fingerprints on the bottle? Oh, God. It's Jaya, isn't it? Most of this I've been right. I, it's... 
I think I, I'm starting to think it's Jaya. Why are you worried about me? You just seem a little different from the person who turned up all those weeks ago. You don't talk to me as much as you did. You flitter between patients in a daydream. Tell me what things are bothering you. At the moment? Sounds like Jay might think I'm going insane. At the moment, you're bothering me. Why do I bother you, Doctor? Don't say things like that. Dr. Decker said things like that, and it didn't turn out that well for him. Because you bleed and killed him, didn't you? Do you think I'm going insane? Don't joke about going insane, Doctor. That's one thing I can't let happen on my watch. If you become insane, then I'll snuff you out. Hmm. Did you snuff Dr. Decker out? Dr. Decker had, in my opinion, become clinically insane, and it was rubbing off on the other patients. Maybe I would have put a stop to it, but I didn't need to. The grandfather paradox did that for me. You're not making any sense here. Dr. Decker killed his grandfather by going back in time. At least he thought he had. An earlier version of himself knew this would happen, so to prevent him from preventing himself from being born in the first place, he took an overdose. Sleeping tablets and alcohol. At least that's how he explained it to me before he did it. Hmm. Nope, nope, nope. You're starting to unravel, Jaya. This is not making any sense. Prescription pad. Dr. Decker's prescription pad is still missing. I'll let you know if it turns up. We know who has it. Elin's got it. We know that. What about the death threats? I didn't know anything about that. If I have any grievances with my employer, I spit in their coffee. I hope that's how you like it. Well, I ain't having any more bleeding coffee, I'll say that much. Did you have any grievances with Decker? Don't become like Dr. Decker. I think that somebody killed him because he was using them. There's some footage. I can't show you because it would affect you too much. Suffice to say, when Mariana told him she could breathe underwater, he wanted the same power for himself. So instead of trying to cure her of it, he'd try and amplify it to see how it worked so he could imagine it for himself. I think he did that with all his special patients. I think he wanted all of their powers. If you believe in that sort of thing. So, to prevent that... You drugged him and stabbed him, didn't you? Who were his special patients? Any patient who presented with psychokinetic issues, they were his special patients. Towards the end, he began ignoring all the other cases. Most of the patients saw it as a curse, what they were experiencing, what they were unwittingly doing. Dr. Decker saw it as an ability, a power to be harnessed and used for, well, God knows what he was gonna use it all for. So we made them give in to it and it consumed them, consumed all of them. Whether you believe any of that or not is your choice, but they did, which made them angry. And that's why I think he was murdered by a patient. I believe the lady doth protest too much. I am nearly 100% certain that it was Jay at this point. Like, why, why would she unwittingly agree to the whole fingerprints on the bottle thing if they were hers? She's got a motive for it. Mariana doesn't have a motive anymore. She's also got an alibi, as does Elin, as does Nathan. Claire and Bryce, I just think, are nuts. It's, it's Jaya, I think. How are you coping with grief? I think I'm okay with the grief now. My mother died suddenly, and I think I was projecting Dr. Decker's death to be about her. I know they're not related. Indeed. Indeed. How did your mother die, Jaya? My mother died suddenly, like Dr. Decker. 
For her, though, it was different. She burst into flames. I was seven. They said she must have been smoking and drinking on the sofa, but she doesn't smoke or drink. Professor Alderby said it was spontaneous combustion. Spontaneous combustion? Really? Who do you think murdered Do- Let's- let's ask this, because I'm fairly certain it's Jaya, but let's see who she thinks. It's not your job to find out who the murderer is. It's the police. You can only point them in the right direction. Murder is a means to an end. There's a lot more going on here you should be thinking about. No answer. No answer. I'm not sure the patients are improving. Your patients will always be a bother, but you're caring for people. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? In a few weeks' time, there'll be a whole new bunch of faces with a whole new bunch of quirks. Let's not have a whole new Doctor, shall we? Well, we'll probably have a new assistant, won't we, Jaya? I immediately think it's you. Like, I, I now, I am nearly certain it's you at this point. Alright guys, well, I'm going to go for a break here, but the next episode of The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker, I'm going to try and clear Mariana and Nathan, 100%, but... Ugh, it's got to be Jaya. It's got to be Jaya at this point. Anyway, I will see you then.